Welcome back to the High School Sports Zone. Hey, have you heard? The Super Bowl's coming to town. Okay, maybe word has leaked out. But have you also heard the two rosters include six former Greater Houston football players? That's right. For New England, there's ex Side Creek offensive lineman Cameron Fleming, tied in Martellus Bennett of A Leaf Taylor, Klein Bearcat product, defensive back Eric Rowe, and wide receiver Danny Amendola from the Woodlands Highlanders. Meantime, the Atlanta Falcons roster includes Elkins Knight Jake Matthews, as well as ex High Tower Hurricane. Defensive lineman, Derek Shelby. And joining us now for more on all of that, we welcome in Shane Hallmark, head football coach of the Klein Bearcats, Spring ISD Athletic Director, Willie Amendola, and Dennis Brantley, the head football coach for the Fort Bend Elkins Knights. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Shane, we will start with you because you have not one, but two players in the Super Bowl, two of your former players, Eric Rowe and also Derek Shelby. What is that like? For it's you? extremely exciting. Um, you know, I'm so proud of those two guys and, and what they did for me as players and to see them go on and, and move to, the, to this ultimate game of our profession is really amazing. The way that worked out, you coached Derek at Hightower, then you moved on to Klein, and then a few years later, you had Eric Rowe. So that worked out just the way you planned it, right? Yeah, it did. Uh, you know, Derek was a big, tall, skinny kid, and we thought he was going to be a tight end. And uh, senior year, we moved him to defensive end, actually the spring ball before his senior year, and, and we couldn't block him. So when the rest is history, you know. Yeah, and he was undrafted. Undrafted. And he just signed a big-time, multi-million dollar contract. So he's done so well for himself. And Eric Rowe at New England has really come on this year as well. Yeah, Eric's had a great year. and. It, um, you know, he was released by the uh, Eagles or traded to the, to the Pats from the right. Eagles, and but he it worked out pretty good for him. Yeah. And uh, he's really adapted well to their defense, and he's getting to play a lot. Had a big pick last week, so yeah, real proud of him. All right, let's go move on. Willie Amendola, you did not coach your son in high school. You coached against your son when you were at Westfield. Yes, Danny sure. played for the Woodlands. What was that like, coaching against your son, and how did you do? Uh... Well, we won him when he was a sophomore. Okay. Yeah. And then? And then we, uh, he beat us his junior and senior year. Yeah. We won, I'm one and two against him. <laughs> and his senior year, all they did was make it to the state finals. Yeah. Yeah, he had, a, he had a brilliant career at the Woodlands and then at Texas Tech. And what about the way he has come on in the NFL? Because he was undrafted, mm -hmm. went to the Cowboys, and then uh, got released before the season started, then moved on, got released, and then landed with the Rams and then really blossomed. Right. I mean, he was fortunate enough to be in a place that could use his skill set, and that's how it developed. This is not your first but second Super Bowl mm -hmm. as uh, for Danny as his dad. He's been now his second Super Bowl. Right. What is that like for you to have your son in the Super Bowl and now here in Houston? You know, it was a really powerful, emotional thing last time in Arizona. We played in 49. And we, we got to the stadium about an hour and a half early and get to look out there. And it, that, that was a, a defining moment. And then, of course, being on the field with the confetti coming down was a really emotional time for everybody. And you had a good game there. You had, I think, five receptions yeah. and, and uh, made an impact in that had Super a touch, Bowl had, I think he caught the go-ahead touchdown and, uh, in the, maybe the fourth quarter. Yeah. And I think I saw he also he was on the receiving end of Tom Brady's 400th career touchdown, so that must have been exciting as well. It was, especially exciting when he handed the ball to the person in the stands and had to go back and try to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. How proud are you of him, especially, he's overcome career-threatening injuries, mm -hmm. he was an undrafted free agent, and here he is going to his second Super Bowl as a standout wide receiver and punt returner for the Patriots. Right, I mean, he grinds, he works really hard at it, you know, and uh, the work ethic thing is probably what you're most proud of with your, with, with your players and your kids, you know, how hard they work and and, you know, to get the opportunity to do this is, is a dream come true. Did he get you good seats for... Uh, <laughs> Haven't seen the tickets yet. Uh, probably, <laughs> we're probably pretty close to the ceiling, I'm guessing. Uh, but you're in the stadium. <laughs> we're in the stadium. Uh, that's good enough for me. Okay, so you're not complaining. Not a bit. All right, any predictions for the game? It's going to be a great game. All right. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's go to Dennis Brantley. And Coach Brantley coached Jake Matthews for three seasons at Elkins. At that time, you were the offensive coordinator. And did you see something special back then? Because those Matthews brothers, four of them, mm -hmm. great football players. Yes. Uh, with Jake, it's not, it's not a surprise that he's uh, playing the Super Bowl. He was focused uh, as a sophomore, junior, and senior. He was like the perfect offensive lineman. As a head coach, as his high school head coach, how exciting is it for you to see him in the Super Bowl 
and also here in Houston? Oh, it's very exciting. You know, we talk about it in the athletic period about, you know, this is an opportunity to look at someone who's in the same shoes you guys are in. And so it should give you some motivation that one day you can get there. Now, his younger brother, you were his head coach at Elkins, uh, Mikey Matthews, yes. right? He just was with the Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. And then the youngest brother, Luke, will be a senior next year? He will be a senior next year. And how big is Luke? Luke is 6'4", 315, and still growing. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't mind coaching those Matthews brothers? No, I'm just, my problem is that they're running out of kids. That's my problem right there. <laughs> well, they, four of them, three uh, NFL and maybe one in just a few years. Yes. And how do you, that's just incredible when you think about that family. How would you describe that and put it into words? Well, they are truly a blessed family. It's like uh, they're so focused. Uh, they work so hard. Uh, you think uh, kids would be, think they're entitled, but uh, basically none, none of that at all. They work harder than anyone else. Uh, they are focused. They are focused on their grades. Uh, they they work, do the extra work that you need to do. They'll leave the school and go to uh, one of those 24-hour fitness and put some more work in. So I always tell them, hey, it's the Matthews way, and we're not going to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hard to mess up. Well, how exciting for you, and uh, great job of coaching all those Matthews brothers with mm -hmm. one more with one year left. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, well, guys, I appreciate you coming on. It's so much fun, so much talent. We didn't even get to all the guys from Houston uh, we mentioned Cameron Fleming from Cy Creek and uh, Martellus Bennett uh, from A. Lee Taylor, obviously a big name NFL player. But we're glad you guys were able to come in. And uh, finally, what does this say about Greater Houston football when you have so many guys exceeding at such a high level? Coach Brantley? Well, it just shows that this is one of the best football programs in the country, uh, the Greater Houston area. Uh, when college scouts come down here, they don't have to, they don't have to travel very far. All right. I guess you guys agree Absolutely. wholeheartedly. Absolutely. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good luck this upcoming season. And uh, enjoy watching the game.